scratches. Grrr. Oh, the bane of us collectors of weird outdated junk. You know, it looked good on eBay, but then you get it and you're like, oh man, looks like someone's dragged along the road in some sort of sadistic test against a flash modded iPod. Where the hard drive actually won. It still works. This guy, most amazing hard drive ever. This thing works great. It looks like sadness. So we're gonna fix it and we're gonna use everyday normal stuff. So you can invest in like these expensive, uh, these expensive polishes. Oh, hang on. There we go. You can invest in these and they work, but man, are they expensive. Brasso. You can get this stuff from supermarkets, metal polish. Yeah, on the soft plastics of iPods, it just does wonders. People have been using on their reading glasses. Um, it doesn't really do anything to these ones, by the way. You can clean the screen, but you know, yeah, yeah. So on a normal scratched iPod, you just get a nice soft cloth. T-shirt works great. And you just buff, buff, buff until all your scratches go away. This one's a little more advanced. So we're gonna have to try some more advanced methods. <laughs> Let's get rid of this. Very, very disrespectful. Oh, that was my knuckle. <laughs> I am an old man. Hot tamale, go! Hot oh, deadly dungus. Yeah. What a great job I did. Before we start polishing, what even is polishing? Well, effectively, we're removing a layer. Like each one of these scratches is just a low point. You know, we've all had those before. <laughs> And so what we want to do is we want to take the top surface to the scratcher's lowest point and effectively it's gone. Now, what's a video without an amazing thumbnail? Oh, come on, we, we got to do something to get that thumbnail. It's good enough for who it's for. So yeah, polishing is removing material. That's what this stuff does. That's what car polish does. You're taking a layer off. So. Brasso, maybe with a million years and just going and going and going, you might be able to get it down there, but we need some help. So we're gonna call on household ingredient number two, sandpaper. The number on there is important because it tells us how gritty it is. So the higher the number, the finer it is. That means there's more particles on it. 320, that's pretty standard stuff, you know, but what we want is the really fine stuff. 1200 grit and then finally 2000 grit this stuff feels like velvet it is so fine but this is what we want that's gonna cut down the big scratches and this is gonna fine it up a little bit I mean you know and working down you go down to 120 there's 80 60 and mate if that's not getting the job done you bust out your one grit and you get her done right household ingredient number three mate big celebrity local hero the WD. The WD is going to act as a lubricant, which is going to help lift all the stuff that we're scratching off of these effectively and help us clean it up. These deep gouges, all this dirt's actually going to be really useful because I just need to sand until the dirt goes away and then we're at the lowest point. So that's with the 1200 grit, that's as coarse as we're gonna go. And you know, already it's pretty friggin' good. Like I, I'd be happy with that. Now we hit it with the 2000. N no lie, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> it's just a little bit cloudy, but they, that's how fine that sandpaper is. I was rubbing as hard as I could. Now is when it's the Brasso time. This is like a sandpaper so fine, it's a liquid. You're a little dabble, do you, mate? And now you just keep polishing until you like it. If the if you if you still don't like it, polish it again. And if you still don't like it, polish it again. And again. And again. And again. And again. Now for the back case, I usually don't care. That's just a sacrificial lamb for an iPod for me. You know, that's why it's made of metal. It's just going to be sitting face up on stuff all the time. <laughs> I've put new back panels on iPods before, only to watch it suck scratches from across the room onto it. Unbelievable. You handle it so carefully and it still gets scratched. So who cares in my opinion? But I got a, I got a Dremel polishing tool. Mate, with Brasso's metal polish, Dabaruni will do ye. 
And last touch, Icy Probe. I mean, ooh, baby. Oh, and before we move on, that little buffing wheel Dremel thing, don't use it on the front. It's very abrasive. Maybe you got the feng shui to make it work. I, I thought it just turned into a cloudy mess. But here we go. Time to remove the tape. Amazing thumbnail material. You've already seen the thumbnail. I haven't. Here we go. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> Two Face, the iPod. <laughs> Sandpaper and Brasso. This is this is so cheap. And like looking at the back, uh, is that worse? Is that worse? Uh, let's not look at the back. Oh, the front though, big big impress. I I'm I'm impressed with myself. I'm a genius. Now for the back face. <laughs>